Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Google Slides and at everything you can do with video in Google Slides. So let's just dive into it. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is open up a Google Slides. Now, I have my Google Slides open and I'm going to click on that Insert button. Now, if you remember from our video a while back, inserting media into Google Slides is incredibly easy. Now, I'm going to select Video. Now, if you remember, there are three different ways that we can insert video. We can select search, drive, or even use the URL of a video. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use the search function. Now, in the search function, I'm going to be looking for an apps events video. Now, we're going to type in apps events, and then the first video that pops up is why should you attend one of our boot camps? Now, I could highly recommend attending these boot camps, and if you want more information about that, there will be a link in that description below. Now, let's just select this video and insert the video. Now you'll see we have a preview here of this video and now we can start presenting our slideshow. Now when we present, the video will play as it is and what we can do in Google Slides is we can actually play around with the format and also the playback functions. So what we're going to do next is click on that video just once. Now you can make the video larger and if you hold down the shift key while you are pulling one of the corners down, then you will see that the dimensions are proportionate. Now sometimes you've already moved your video to the middle of your slideshow and you just want to make it larger but you don't want to stretch the sides and then move it again. Well there's a little trick that you can use and that is hold down the shift and control key as you're dragging one of those corners. Now what happens when you're holding down both keys is that it's going to enlarge from the center point. This is incredibly useful and you can use this for shapes as well as video. Now once you've got the perfect size for your video, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dive into our playback options. Now when you click on your video once, there is an extra option that appears. So let's go ahead and dive into that option. Now these format options give me four different things I can do now. I could add a drop shadow, which I usually do with my videos. Now you can change the color of that drop shadow and you can even tweak some of the perimeters such as distance or transparency and make it fit your design. Now then moving on to the other options is our size and position. This is where you can position your video onto your slide and also where you can lock that aspect ratio. This is going to be helpful if you've got a lot of videos and you're going to rearrange the sizes often. And then finally at the top we have our playback options. Now these are some of the options I use the most because we can not only tell our slideshow to start playing our video as soon as we land on our slide but we can also select a start and end time. This is incredibly useful in the classroom and you can select which part of the video you would like to highlight. So I'm going to select the start and end time right here. I'm not going to mute my video but I am going to auto play it when presenting. So let's go ahead and tick that box and then go back to your slideshow. Now one thing that often is overlooked is that your video is an element. That means that you can lay your different elements on top or behind your video. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to dive into that shapes menu and I want this video to be as if it's a speech bubble of me saying how great these boot camps are. So I'm going to select the speech bubble and I'm going to drag that shape over my video. Now, don't worry, I know you can't see the video anymore, but I'm going to select a different border and then a different fill. Now, I'm going to use a bright yellow color and then I'm going to select a width for my border. Now, this can be nice and thick so you can really see it. And then the fill, well, that will be a transparent fill. Now, the reason for that is so that I can add a border onto my video. Now, this is a custom border. You can use any shape you want. Now, in my personal opinion, this already looks a lot better and I'm going to just preview that by clicking on present. Now, as you can see, everything works the way it should work and I'm going to exit now. Now, one more thing that is really useful when you are presenting and using video is having your own notes and even some speaker notes as to which sections of the video you'd like to highlight and also what you are talking about. Now, you can add these to your slideshow. So in your view menu, you're going to select speaker notes and then at the bottom, you can type anything you want. Now this will not be visible when you're presenting, but if you would like to read these notes as you're presenting to someone else, make sure that you select the presenter view instead of the standard present. Now I hope you found this video helpful. This was another tips and tricks with apps events and Acer and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.